Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this Garnier Ultimate Blends Body Soothing Hydrating Lotion. Um, it's a really big bottle, I can barely get it on the screen. Um, just have to say, if you hear any background noise, um, the children are home, <laughs> um, as always. Um, still not back at school, so yes. Um, you know, not much I can do about that, but that will be the noise you hear if you do hear anything. So anyway, so this is um, Garnier once again. I'm really loving Garnier, I have to say. Um, it's been around for so many years, but for some reason it's just one of those brands that I never really used. Um, I just didn't use any of their products. And then this year, um, you know, I tried one product and I really liked it. I think it was this year or maybe last year, um, but quite recently. Um, and every single product that I've used I've really really liked um, I've been really impressed by it I haven't yet tried something that I don't like so um, obviously you can tell that I like this as well um, so yeah it comes in a really big bottle it is 400 mils which is amazing um, before this one um, you may have seen the review I did on My Little Coco um, that body cream so it kind of reminds me of that it's a similar bottle it's a pump bottle I only ever buy body lotions that come in a pump bottle just because it's so much uh, more convenient and for some reason I find if it's not in a pump bottle I, I kind of forget to do it or I just don't do it um, like I should. I just find it more of a hassle to be honest. Um, when it's a pump bottle you can leave it sat on the side and you know you can just you know use it as and when you wish and I just find I use it a lot more often if it's in a bottle like this so I always go for that. Um, and then I always check, so it has to be in a pump bottle, and then I always check the back to make sure there's no um, parabens or anything in there as well, which this doesn't have. So um, you can, might be able to see the ingredients there. Um, it's got glycerin, which is al always great in a, in a um, skin product because it means that it really hydrates the skin, makes it very soft and nourished. Um, it does have mineral oil, um, which some people don't like. Um, it does have shea butter, um, what else do we have in here? It's got different extracts, it's got oats in it as well, um, it's got a sweet almond oil, um, sweet almond fruit, so yeah it's got some really nice um, extracts and, and different things like that. Um, it says on the front, delicate oat, oat milk and white almond cream and it's for the whole family so I love that as well is that you can just have this on the side and you can put this on everyone you know you can if you give your children a bath um, you know you can apply some of this so you don't need a separate product like I said before I was using the My Little Coco um, which comes in a similar bottle like this um, and it is aimed at children um, and babies but it's really for the whole family you know anyone can use it and I did really really love that cream actually so for me it's a bit of a comparison um, one thing I will say this was cheaper um, than the My Little Coco. It was only a few pounds, it was cheaper and it's a bigger bottle. So that was the first thing that I kind of thought about was that similar bottle, you know, with the pump and everything, no parabens, um, but it's cheaper and for more products. So that kind of was a big thumbs up for me. Um, I love the fact as well it's for dry and sensitive skin and it's non-greasy and non-sticky. Um, and there are a lot of ingredients in here um, and there are lots of different extracts, um, oils, um, and things like that in here as well. So I actually like the ingredients of this. Um, this smells lovely as well, I have to say. Let me just remind myself of what it smells like. So that's what it looks like on the fingers. It smells really, really nice. I can't really explain the smell to be honest. Um, it's just really pleasant. <laughs> I know that's not very helpful, um, but it does smell nice. You know, it's got the almond oil in there, so I think I can smell a bit of that. Um, it does smell very, very nice, and it is not greasy at all. Um, yeah, it's lovely. It's a really, really nice cream. It leaves my skin feeling really, really soft, really hydrated, really smooth. Um, and one thing, a big test as well, is if my husband notices... Um, Sometimes I'll, you know, be testing a product to review it, you know, obviously I don't mention it to him and then he'll notice, you know, if it's a skincare product, he might say, oh, your skin looks 
you know, really fresh today or whatever. Um, and if he says it a few times, I think, yeah, you know what, this product must be working. Um, and he's said multiple times to me that my skin's really soft. Um, and he said it much more than when I was using the My Little Coco one. So I think, again, that's another big thumbs up. I think I would agree. I think my skin um, does feel softer with this one. Um, it's hard to say because obviously that was a while ago that I finished that. And now I've been using this for a while, so I'm used to the feel of this one. Um, so I can't do an exact side-by-side -side comparison. But like I say, it is cheaper and the bottle is bigger. Um, so it does make my skin feel amazing and I'm really impressed with it. Um, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Once again, Garnier um, has triumphed for me. Um, I'm really, really happy with it. And like I said, 400 mil will last a long time, even with the whole family using it. Um, if I have a link, I will put it below. Um, I'm definitely intrigued to see what else they have from this range. I haven't really looked into it. I just saw this um, on the shelf. I can't actually remember where I bought it from. Um, I'm not sure, but um, it was it it was definitely under five pounds. Um, so yeah, I really really like it. I think you could use this um, on babies. It says it's for the whole family. So again, just check the ingredients. See if there's anything in there that you wouldn't like or you don't like, or you know you might have a reaction to. Um, then obviously don't use it. Um, but I think for the price. Um, and for how it makes your skin feel, I think it's a big plus. I actually stopped using um, hand lotion as well. Um, you know, lots of people will have a separate hand lotion, um, but for me, this this works great on the hands. I mean, the hands are part of the body, um, so you don't necessarily need a separate lotion for your hands. You can just use whatever you use on your body, also on your hands, and it works really, really nicely. It makes my hands feel really, really soft. And actually, that's something that I didn't necessarily notice as much with the My Little Coco one. I, I noticed that um, it didn't make my hands feel as soft as this one. It's not too thick. I'll do a little pump out on here so you can see. Um, it's not too thick. It's lovely. It's a really, really nice cream. It just feels really, you can feel the oils in there. Um, the kids have started to scream, so that's them playing in the background and the dog's running up and down the stairs but we'll ignore that um, and yeah it really makes the skin feel really really soft the, the, the oils in here you can really really notice that um, I know I keep referring to the My Little Coco but that's you know I did love that one and that was the one I used before this so it makes sense to keep referring back to it um, but I think with this one as much as I love coconut oil um, which is obviously the main ingredient in that one um, because this one's got all the different oils in there including you know the almond oil um, it actually, I think this one is more nourishing, I would say, than the other one. Um, and again, it's cheaper and it's a bigger bottle. So yes, I'm definitely a fan. I'm going to see what else they do in the range. Um, if you do like Garnier, I've got quite a few Garnier, um, reviews on my channel now that I've done, uh, quite recently. Um, their hair dye. Um, what else have I done? I've done their... My mind's going, but I've done quite a few, <laughs> quite a few things that I literally can't remember. Um, some skincare products, um, the masks, the face masks, um, the creams. So yeah, I've I've done quite a few different things, as well as the hair products and now obviously body. So every single thing that I have tried from Garnier has been a thumbs up. I get psoriasis, which I mention in pretty much every video, but I think it's important to say because um, you know obviously that's a skin condition um, and again I've had no irritation with this um, it hasn't made it any worse um, my skin's actually been really nice with it so um, and oats is actually really good for psoriasis so um, I don't think you'll have any problems there um, yeah it is lovely there is a scent so maybe you don't like scented body lotion but I love it um, and it's just that kind of almond oil smell I would say that I can smell coming through but there are multiple oils in this and you can tell that there are oils in this lotion. I think that makes a big difference to, you know, a one pound body lotion that doesn't have any, you know, nourishing oils in there. So I absolutely love it. Highly recommend it. If I do have a link, I will leave it below, like I said before. Um, hopefully you found this video helpful. 
um, if you did give it a thumbs up um, if you have any recommendations as well of any more Garnier products that you'd like me to try out or review then put that in the comments um, and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching bye